Hey kids, I've always been a big fan of Red Dragon Archfiend, and when I heard the Master of Faster was getting a structure deck, I was extremely excited. I've wanted to play RDA for a long time, but the deck never really felt good enough to be worth building. Now with the new support giving RDA a 1.5 card combo and praising the power of the standard end board, I figured it was high time I gave it a good shot. Obviously there were 1.5 card combos before ever since Tactical Masters released, thanks to Ariane the Labyrinth Servant, but I didn't feel like that was enough to justify it, as it was still just an unsearchable 3 of, and you needed to draw a trap alongside it. Now with Soul Resonator, we have 9 1 card starters, and that's really good. For our first game, we'll be going up against 56 card, B Bistial, Branded, Cards, it's... It's, it's, it's cards.deck. They just took all the cards that said Fallen of Albaz and jammed it in, I mean... Look at this, they're on, they're on Ecclesia, they're on the Golden Sword Soul, I, I, they're on Comedy. Anyways, uh, we're going first, we're gonna go ahead and Normal Summon Soul Resonator, then activate the effect. Soul Resonator is gonna grab Bone Archfiend, which will pitch this area and summon itself. Bone Archfiend's going to mill Crimson to decrease Soul Resonator by one, and then make Red Rising, which will reborn the Crimson Resonator, which now will summon Vision and Red Res from deck. Red Raz is going to gain us 2100, and then we'll make a Red Supernova and search for Red Zone. We'll set Red Zone and call by, and then pass turn. They're going to brand it opening, and we're going to fire Red Zone. They'll pitch this Albaz the Ashen for a Luber and activate a Luber to search for Fusion. We've got the Ash for that, though, so we're not too beat up about it. They're going to Lubellion, and we're going to call the by. Then they are going to activate Regain. They'll activate Branded Fusion, which we will Ash, and then they will go ahead and set one and pass turn. In draw phase, they're going to braid an opening to summon Quem. Quem's going to activate, and then we'll chain Supernova to banish their entire field. They'll mill Retribution, and we'll red zone to bring back the Supernova. We'll activate Bone Archery, pitching this Imperm to summon itself, and then normal the Witch of the Black Forest. And upon seeing we have well over lethal, our opponent will concede. Honestly, I didn't even need the Witch of the Black Forest. These two were enough, but fuck it. Let's go a little overboard. So I did. Next up, we'll be going up against what appears to be Zark Turbo using the new support from Age of Overlord. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know, dude. <laughs> They're the ones playing it. I don't know how this shit works. I haven't read a single one of them. Anyways, we're going to start off with Soul Resonator, pitching a, or searching for Vision Resonator, then we'll pitch Ariane for Bone Archfiend. I should have pitched Wandering King Wildwind. This was a misplay on my part, but I, I looked at my hand and I said, oh, I don't have trap cards. I'll get rid of this Ariane. When am I going to need it? And uh, by the end of this turn, this wild is just going to rot in my hand. Anyways, we're going to modulate Soul Res. We're going to go into Red Rising, Reborn the Crimson. We've all, we, we've seen this line. It's the line that you're going to see multiple times throughout this video. We're going to Red Resonator for 2100 life points, make Supernova, Search Zone, Set Zone, and Pass Turn. We're going to flip it in draw phase. Our opponent's going to go ahead and scale Supreme Gate Magician. Then pop it for zero. That's going to trigger Chronograph, which will summon Pendulum Sork. They're going to activate the effect and will Supernova in response. Then Red Zone out the Supernova. They're going to Talents to draw two for some reason. What they should have done was uh, Talents to steal and then like Normal Greater Duelist or whatever the hell. And then just like search and linked off into uh, something. I don't know. But I guess they just decided they needed to dig deeper, which I suppose... Anyways, they'll concede upon realizing that we have still one more Banish. Now for our next game, we'll be going up against Rescue Ace. We have lost the die roll, so they're going to go ahead and normal Air Hoister, and we're going to Imperm that. And that ends the turn, because Rescue Ace sucks. They'll set Extinguish and pass. We're just going to go straight to Battle Phase and evenly to turn off any Rescue Ace spell traps they set. They choose to Banish the Airlifter, I guess. We'll normal Soul Resonator and activate the effect to search Bone Archfiend, then pitch Synchron Resonator to summon Bone Archfiend. That's going to allow us to modulate the level by pitching Crimson and summon Red Rising. Red Rising is going to bring back Crimson. Then we'll Crimson for Red Res and Vision. Red Res is going to give us 2100 life points. And then we'll make Supernova. We'll set Zone and Pass. We're going to flip it and draw phase. They're going to Normal Summon Hydrant, activate the effect. We're going to Supernova. Then they'll Chain Extinguish, but you cannot destroy Supernova Dragon by card effects. So nice, nice Extinguish, loser. We'll banish the full field, they'll search for Impulse and Pass, we'll summon it back with Red Zone. And now we're going to BM. We're going to pitch Time to Stand Up with Bone Archfiend, and then Normal Summon Red Resonator. We'll Bone Archfiend, they'll Impulse, we'll Negate with Time to Stand Up. 
we're going to go ahead and increase the supernova to 13 and then make red rising red rising summons red res red res is going to gain us 2100 then we'll go ahead and summon back two synchron resonators that's going to allow us to make scar red dragon archfiend and after a long pause we're going to just go ahead and not play into nibiru anymore go to battle and punch for 85 like i should have done at the start of the turn after the time to stand up don't play rescue ace folks this deck is this deck is giga shit honestly this is the most frustrating support we've had in a long time it's good don't get it twisted and it is basically the perfect legacy support in that it doesn't warp the deck around some new gimmick it doesn't invalidate the old boss monsters and it improves the consistency and grind game but it also fails to fix the fragility of rga combos so it won't meaningfully change anything about the deck there's also a lot of really weird inconsistencies with how the cards want you to play and how the cards are actually written. Red Zone looks like it should be the centerpiece of a really cool mid-range deck that looks to control the field and win over the course of a couple turns, but because it needs you to control exactly the original RDA or Synchro that mentions it, you run into a lot of issues because the two Red Dragon Archie bosses worth ending on, Supernova and abyss don't actually mention the original red dragon archfiend and they aren't named red dragon archfiend so it's really awkward not only that but vision resonator searches spells or traps that mention red dragon archfiend but the three cards that are actually worth playing that are even remotely red dragon archfiend support are red rain time to stand up in red zone and only red zone mentions red dragon archfiend the other two only care about dark dragon synchro monsters not only that, but Soul Resonator has the same issue with Red Zone. It has a really good Bailinx effect, but that doesn't really matter because you're never going to be passing your turn with Red Dragon Archfiend on the field. Scar Red is a good apology for banning Chaos Ruler, but because it summons exactly the original Red Dragon Archfiend and doesn't negate its effects, you can't use this to turn on the second effect of Red Zone because Red Dragon Archfiend will destroy your entire field during the end phase on the first turn. And obviously you don't want to do that. You can use Soul Resonator to protect it, but now you've just wasted your Bailinx for what? To continue playing the game like normal? It's really awkward in a lot of ways that it really shouldn't be. I'll give it a look for Rogue's format, but I don't expect much in advance, sadly. Alright, 